So, <laughs> question, question. Is Besiege entertainment? <laughs> In my household, if I had children, absolutely. Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. And then that's Jordan, that's Pedro, that's you at home, helping us for cocaine. Voltron, all two canes of it. This one video I might not have changed around. Played around a bunch with OBS because OBS keeps doing these. And this week there were like two commits to OBS. I was like, why was that not a thing? But go back and listen to the pre pre super shows. And if you want more on that, you'll find about our new angel invested startup company. That's all thumbs. Spooge. S S P U with the umlaut G. Still disappointed it's not called the clap. <laughs> We're going to be leveraging the best of GPT and AI to Big, yes, figure generate out. hands. But bitch slap the paradigm. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we got we to gotta figure out which guys look like other guys and give us the names of those guys. <laughs> this is all the fault of Buckaroo Banzai. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is the origin of that. So, anyway. OBS had some updates to it. That was kind of fun. And we're using them right now. That's neat. Two things I need to cover. Uh, Wednesday. This upcoming Wednesday, we're not going to have a regular LWDW. Jill's going to be out doing the uh, scale stuff. And she's going to be doing that the uh, week after that. So it's an opportunity to get to play around with some things I don't normally have time for. And we're going to start this upcoming Wednesday by building a webcam. Live. Because why not? I've ordered the parts for this. I've had them sitting in a box for almost a year. I've just never, I, I didn't want to just build it myself. I'm like, well, that's boring. And you just put it in. What I want is I do a stream on Sundays now where I edit Linux Gamecast Weekly and I have a little side cam. And currently right now, that's a lot in this relationship because that's like setting up a different camera. It's got a weird HDMI cable. Then I got to put power to it and all that. And I was like, yeah, I just use a little webcam because it's not like a high res anything. It's just a regular side shot of me so I can communicate and wave. No, we're going to take a Raspberry Pi um, itsy bitsy one, the what, new wireless dual core version, and uh, we're going to turn that into a webcam. Then the week after that, we're going to test it mm. with Fedora Silver, Silver Lube. <laughs> because I've been talking so much smack about containers. Like, you know what? I'm going to try it out myself. I, we're going to take, we're going to do a new benchmark. So we'll edit all these out. But one of the good things about having a rectangle that we've built, um, what, something I've always wanted to benchmark. I always thought it was silly, and you're talking to the guy who came up with the lawn chairs. Uh, I want to do time till half-life, the TTHL, for any distribution or operating system, be it Windows 10, Windows 11, or you know, Debian 11, or in this case, Fedora Silverblue. Hmm. So how long does it take from inserting the thumb drive, powering on the system, you hear the first da -dum. right okay N not actually play it just here to the <laughs> the uh legitimate like da -dum. Da -dum. yeah the valve yeah. Boom. yeah that one so we're gonna we're, we're gonna start that benchmarking series off with uh so which is effectively just nothing but flatbacks right uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm gonna hate it it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Watch watch come out on the other side and just be like, you know, I was wrong. I it was fine. Flat, flat <laughs> yeah, that, it was... That's probably going to be the, the thing at the end of it. It's like, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. May, 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 maybe like a hair slower. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. As you, as you cut to me on the upstairs deck launching the PC. <laughs> <laughs> well, bye, rectangle. I, I must um, go now. My planet needs me. I think that'll be interesting. I, I've personally, Jordan, have you played around with Silverblue? I have not. Um, okay, Pedro, yeah. have you played around with Silverblue? I've played with Kinoite, which is the same. No, he hasn't either. Gnome um, is KD, but it's mm. the same thing. <laughs> and we're going to be installing XFCE, which is the right desktop environment. Um, how are you going to do that if the um, root file uh, system is immutable? <laughs> Listen, he, he's he's gonna try his damnedest, yeah. and, and and then he's gonna <laughs> the make the first a blog time. Post. There's an update; it just he's, goes right back to no. Li listen, it'll, it'll 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 be right on the front page of PC World. You know, the source of all 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 all, all the good information. It'll be awesome to try to do regular things that you might think of, and I think it'll also be a little more entertaining. Man. How about you, Jordan? How have you been entertaining yourself this week, doing things for Shut the people, shoveling, shoveling, and jiving? <laughs> shoveling man 
I, man, it, it it fucking dumped. I was talking about this in the in the pre pre super shows, and I put I I put the picture in uh, in our live chat. That does but fuck there, all for anybody watching the video. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there there was like someone straight up cross country skiing across my fucking like in the in the, the street <laughs> in front of my house this morning. Um. So yeah, I, I I spent most of the day shoveling. That was fun. But you know, I I made I made an order the other week, and it it, it finally showed up. I have Steam Deck. It's, it's here, right here, in my hands. Audio listeners, he's holding up his Nintendo Switch. Yeah. With uh, the big, I, chunky uh, yes, things. Yes. I, I, okay, now I, that I, looks I, I, like I, a Steam Deck. There we go. Yeah, I, I, I have the real one here. <laughs> my, that, 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 was, that was my funny haha joke. Yeah, no, it, it showed up on Monday. Uh, I got, I've only been able to play with it for three days due to, like, insane work stuff. But, yeah, so far I like it. Um, I've, I've been using it to clear through, like, um, old RPGs that I have, like, half finished. So right now I'm heading to the words the end of uh, Torment Tides of Numenera. Up next, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and play some cyberpunks. So I'm gonna get, gonna bear down, get through that fucking mission, and <laughs> try 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 and get my good sword back. See, this is where we need a service. Uh, I'm stuck in the Cybertruck game. I'm like, where I'm willing to like slide somebody like twenty quid, and I'm like, can you just sit through this Batman detective segment for me? That you never <laughs> use later in the game. Yeah, there's like four other missions that actually have that. That's it. And I was like, no, I, I'm not going to go through. Every time I come back to the game, it's that part. And I'm like, I just don't care. I don't care. <laughs> so hard. But uh, no, uh, is there anything? Uh, what, what was your biggest surprise with your Steam Deck? That's what we all uh, want to know about. So, um, so I guess uh, the, the first thing I noticed is how fucking screechy it actually is. Like uh, the uh, some, some, some of the some of the complaints about the noise from the fan are, mm-hmm. you know, semi well founded. Uh, it's not it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely audible. Um, no, nothing nothing a pair of headphones won't fix. I was about to but, say, is, that, is yeah. you, like, crying holding it in under the water in the sink? <laughs> <laughs> um, like uh, er, er, like ergonomically, it's pretty good. I was mm-hmm. doing uh, the for most of the the gameplay for the review for this week. I was playing uh, Joshua's legs on this guy. Um, That's dangerous. Yeah, I, you know I ha- I haven't. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I don't I, I know. Was it, down. Dude, you think about it, it could be a good way to cheat if it worked with the accelerometer. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it didn't have any presets, and I and I really only messed around with the dead zones on Pedro's suggestion mm. just to just to see if that increased if that the helped. dead zones a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, but like, yeah, so so far I like it. I've had it for like a week now. I'm, did you I, uh, I don't, I don't uh, uh, appreciate? Did, has it finished marking its territory in your house? Uh, because because it pissed everywhere. Uh, leaving that, that Steam Deck that, funk around the house. <laughs> but, but uh, you wake up and it's just on the TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah. It, it's just like sitting on the bed going, walkie time. Wait, no, that's just my dog. Um, no, like it, it's it's starting to fade the 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 new laptop smell. It's a little sad. Also, I'm using this. I didn't buy a Steam Deck, so I'm using this old tripod as like a makeshift stand for it. It works. Stand. Yeah, like keep it upright while it charges. Uh, not hmm. not knock it over. All right. <laughs> I, it's it, it's a DIY deck doc. Yeah. Uh, now over here, I got one of those uh, little table riser thingies that you put on your desk to bring your monitors up a bit. And now they are uh, up a solid twelve centimeters from where they were. The camera has a slightly jauntier angle looking down at me, but it looks okay. So uh, I'll take it. And uh, it means that if I'm you actually know you're only here, allowed to use jaunty in one podcast a year, and you're going to burn it for that <laughs> in, yes. in, in, incorrectly. <laughs> a jaunty but, jig. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, it means that I can actually sit up on the chair and not bang the microphone arm quite as much. Uh, but uh, yeah, I can sit up properly and have my back up straight instead of just slouching. <laughs> awesome. So what what do we do about the mouth breathing? Oh, you're our favorite. You're the star of Sundays. I am. Oh yeah. <laughs> I I never catch the live stream, so um, uh, why why am I the star? Because <laughs> when you get animated, you go right to mouth breathing. Oh, <gasps> uh, yeah. You gotta, you gotta start. You gotta start taping your mouth it's shut like when gasping. you sleep, right. so you 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 encourage more nose breathing. That that's an actual thing people do. Okay. Uh, I'll try that. I guess. Yeah. 
I don't. That's, uh, I'm, I'm, be, I'm being 100 percent real. It's it's weird as fuck, but it's it's a real thing. You know what? If you want to do that, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> Whether or not it'll I, help. I, I won't do it on camera. <laughs> I'm sure that there, there's plenty of people disappointed. No, yeah, now, just, just, just duct tape but, your um, mouth shut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be hilarious. Oh man! Uh, if we could only um, horse horse tape. Horse hmm. tape? No. Horse tape, we, we, yes. I mean, th- we, there's no there's no tape involved here. It's all digital recording. It's the steam update. Ban hammer. Ban time. It is, man. Um, Two weeks in a row. People you, are getting banned. You might have heard of this little game called, um, I keep wanting to call it, I want to call it Apex. Apex That's twin. the twin. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not. It's Apex. Actually, when I say Apex, I don't think it's when I think of Apex, uh, the hardware that the Apex twins name themselves after. Ah. Which we have. The, that's the compeller, right? Yeah. If you look, yeah. like, you probably wouldn't see it unless you like zoom in, enhance, and light up, but there's some lights back there. And that's the thing that like keeps our volume like crazy pumped out, sounding real good on the uh, live streams. But Apex Legends. Uh, oh, here's my story. My Apex Legends was my, the free game I think I got with my. It was the 3060. 2060. Right? 2060. Ah. It was for a long time ago. It was a paid mm. game, and right, 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 right. And they're like, "Oh, we're gonna discount." No, it's gonna be free. And I'm like, "Of course." So just series of bad choices. I don't think I got a free game with the uh, 3060. But um, some people, we talked about it months and months and months ago. It was one of the games that officially came out and said, "Hey, we're gonna work with Easy Anti Cheat out of the box. It's not gonna be a problem. It's gonna be 100 percent official. You don't have to do anything crazy. Just start playing." And you know what? People did. Until uh, about four days ago. And um, RME D24. This is uh, on the Valve Software Proton issue tracker for um, Proton. Me and several other people have recently been receiving generic banned messages as of last week. See this? They thought it was an issue with the latest Proton GE. Logical, maybe. You know, hey, you're looking for moving parts at that point. The ban seemed quite unwarranted, as Respawn has allowed EAC to work for this game on Linux. Yes, this is like the a, a very, very, very official game. It was like the second one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> update. Oh, dude, can you imagine? Like you, you're having to deal with EA too. And you're like, well, I just might as well just burn that account down. Yeah. And he says, uh, "How nice of EA to reject my ban appeal. I know them denying the ban appeal has nothing to do with the Proton, but it really shows hey, EA's going to EA, man." <laughs> Good news, everybody. Though two days ago. Um, Gek underscore Har, um, who's a moderator of the Apex Legends uh, subreddit. It's like I forwarded this to somebody who can hopefully get the ball rolling on this and get it fixed. And as of the third, he's, I've been told the bans have been reversed and whatever caused this issue has been fixed. So, and there uh, were a couple of issue, a couple of people on the thread uh, saying, "Yeah, I got my email and I can queue up again." So. Apparently, uh, they've yeah, been. I, in- I, I, I was reading through it. Uh, some of them say it still shows a ban on my account. Um, yeah, you can see like the ban lists. Apparently, uh, someone posted a link to it. I don't have my EA account anymore, so I don't know. I can log mm. in. <laughs> I mean, I probably have an EA account for something. Um, but my first thought, like earlier this week, and this is what I really wanted to touch on with both of you, is. Um, Zoom, zoom. Uh, okay. Cheating. Online cheating. It's uh, this thing. Easy anti-cheat, right? This is probably what triggered it. We saw easy anti-cheat get a couple updates this week. We did. Hot fixes. Uh, well, I'm not going to say it was easy anti. I'm assuming it was. It was like the proton hot fix thing. It's like, I think we got like three updates this week. I did, just out of curiosity, when I first saw this, I was like, I wonder... And I typed in like um, Apex Legends online cheat engine. Immediately went straight to Tanya. Like I didn't know this exists. I'm like I don't play Apex Legends. I don't mm. do online. The guy, mm, I don't fucking care enough. This is where I ended up. Like with just one Google search, and like this thing is uh, pretty advanced. It's written for Ubuntu, and it takes advantage of easy anti-cheat not running as a root. 
and uh, process isolation, all this stuff. And it gives you like, a, you know, one of those like bullshit maps that shows you where everyone is on the map and all that stuff like that. This is 100% like first result when you type this in. It's just there. It's open source. And <laughs> yeah. The, the, it, the especially did, if the you're using development not, it, though. Yeah, that means he's got something better now. Yeah. <laughs> and he's probably selling it. Usually if you're not using Google and you're using like Bing or DuckDuckGo or any of the other uh, search engines, you type in something, something cheats, and you're going to get all of them because Google actually filters those out. The others don't. <laughs> this was the first result in Google. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Strider, Strider brings up a valid point, too. Um, I did I did actually take a minute and read through some of the forums, and yeah, a lot of them are using like Proton GE and some like weird command line arguments, which, you know, Buyer beware, right? If you're going to be playing an EAC Proton game, you probably want to stick with the official runtimes and shit, right? Otherwise, you know... I saw a lot of people with a bunch of, like, launch time options, but I didn't see anything malicious in any of them. Yeah, some of those options were actual game flags for the game itself. Right, right, right. But but a lot of of them were using Proton GE, which, again, is not an officially supported Proton, which, you know, buyer beware. If you... Like, that, but that yeah, was, no, was, as we now know, it was in fact EA who did that, and they are now reversing uh, the ban. So if you did get banned, check your emails to see if you got the uh, non apology to say that you yeah. can play again. <laughs> it, 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 it does gotta suck, though. I mean, like, yeah, if you're a legitimate user and you're told that, yes, this should work out of the box, and then you get your account banned. It's kind of shitty. Well, I mean, no it's even different than that because we bring out the point that, you know, Apex is free to play, but you can spend as much money as they you will get suckered into spending on cosmetics and all the other shit in the game so i mean and there are people like i have thousands of dollars in this game and my account just got banned what the fuck mm-hmm. thousands yeah. of dollars and thousands of hours it's yeah yeah <laughs> maybe maybe live services aren't a great idea for long-term <laughs> value for your money <laughs> how dare you um <laughs> we did get some interesting news this week about i mean I'm just going to say interesting because this is more like a party trick, isn't it? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> it's, yeah, the, you may have seen it already. It's been all over the uh, mainstream gaming news. The new Steam Deck OS, the 346 beta, uh, was released on I March know, 2nd. I know, watching NBC News last night. It's a joke, Pedro. Roll it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch NBC. I'm in the UK. I don't. Uh, <laughs> Okay, it was uh, on Sky, all right? Yeah, like, Sky, uh, Sky was what was going to be my, my, my next go. <laughs> uh, I've seen Steam Deck news on the BBC, but that's about it. Uh, the um, No, they updated uh, the Mesa drivers to 23.1, uh, which comes with a number of performance fixes, including, but not limited to, uh, the Wolong Fallen Dynasty, which is new. Wee, uh, there was a lot so of small, corruption so issues. You can see where it falls. But boom, <laughs> fall, fall, uh, Romance of the Three Kingdom Souls. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, ray tracing is now available in Doom Eternal, it which, is. of course, <laughs> what everyone was sharing was uh, the uh, the tweet that uh, Plagman or uh, Pierre Lou Prefet made on Twitter showing Look at those someone fuck mothering puddles, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone looking at the um, at the ground to see the reflections with all the ray tracing and whatnot, and saying it's running at about thirty five FPS. Yes, in that one enclosed room. Well, looking I mean, somebody at the asked. <laughs> So, so how, how well does it run? And <laughs> what do we got? Yeah, th- about, about 35 in that room looking yeah. at the floor. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that's it's like, lo- okay, that's the actual FERPs running around probably going to be a bit lower, but that's still pretty good for the Steam Deck. That's very, very nice. It's impressive. Just, you know, uh, temper your expectations going in. It's, uh, yeah. Yes. The 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 one thing I was curious about was like whether or not like enabling stuff like hardware ray tracing actually improves battery life on the deck, because like the the APU does have some specialized hardware to account for it. But I I I don't know. Like it could be a thing where it's like, well, it'll get you another like thirty minutes on Doom Eternal, which you know if you're playing it on the bus, that's great. Mm-hmm. Although I, if you're playing Doom Eternal on a bus on your Steam Deck, you're probably making some noises. Oh man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Uh, uh, I, 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 you might begin some weird looks, but you'll at least get like, you'll make it through the end of your trip. Well, I gotta, I gotta think about it like this because, like, if you're going to test something, especially like something as, as, as 
uh, performance degrading as ray tracing, Doom Eternal is about the best thing you can do it on because that, you know, it, that. It's optimized dial. Yeah, it's fast, man. <laughs> and it's Vulcan. So um, that's your best case scenario. And again, where I sit with ray tracing, unlike DLSS or um, ZSS or uh, what is it, Fidelity FX? Yeah. Uh, um, ray tracing, shiny puddles, like the damage that does to rasterization performance doesn't, it's, the trade off's not worth it. Yeah, and, and that, yeah. that's basically it, right? Like the the only thing I could see as like an excuse for this is better battery. But if that's not the case, then no. Yeah, the GPU is still at a hundred percent, so you're still using the same amount of power. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and then you got people like Strider who hasn't realized that they've got not managed to get it enabled correctly. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> <laughs> I, what? I'm not wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> C- oh. c- citation needed question mark uh, i don't know 40 yeah, to we're gonna 60 need to see FPS. a screenshot of that specific area <laughs> yeah before it went on, on, on yeah the... on a desktop okay yeah 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 uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's not 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 what we're talking about honey um oh. <laughs> steam beta client has one interesting bit of news that i personally thought uh jordan was a a little bit of a blast in the past too. Yeah, you know the HDR options. Every, everyone's looking forward to that. Now it's the F- Logitech F three ten, the venerable controller. I personally don't have one. I have like the wired one from like two generations before that, where it was like all blue and black. Doesn't have the great, the nice gray. I green. had one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I gave it away I, to Nori's sister because she didn't have one, and I gave I, her I, the one that had the most compatibility. <laughs> I, I know Sandy had one too, and yeah, it's, uh, it yeah. was it was a solid default like USB wireless PC controller. Uh, it looked like a dual shock. Uh, the F three ten is the wired one. The wireless so what, one is the seven ten. Uh, so, okay, so what was so um, it was fixing the input under under uh, Steam input. What exact one thing I'm not clear on is like what the specific issue was was it just not like registering the analog sticks or not like registering button presses at all i don't know but it's fixed now so good on that um, yeah, it, it's very good yeah <laughs> yep. uh there, there's mapping for dual sense edge uh on linux some big picture mode fixes which don't contain any nvidia improvements man you gotta maybe maybe focus on that so that <laughs> your, your your default big picture mode isn't a slideshow anymore yep uh, mm-hmm. uh, Okay. Sparkly. With a skin on it, but that's the F310, yes. <laughs> also, also, apparently, there was some regression in Steam where if you added, like, command line options to your shortcut, it would fuck up, so that's fixed. Dude, I've been running the um, beta client for just perpetually, normally, and um, it, it send your feedback in, leave a comment on the YouTube video, or use our uh, contact form if you've run into this. I know Empty has, at least on one of these issues, but just, like, the overall performance of the Steam client, I didn't say in the past three or four, like, uh, all right, five weeks, it's been getting bad. Like, I, I've been, like, noticing, like, I would go to scroll, and it just sits there. I was like, what? Are, are we not? And I was like, yeah, here I go. I'm going to be doing this. And, like, to the point where I've, like, went in and played with, like, do I want GL acceleration, you know, hardware acceleration for yeah. scrolling, smooth scrolling, and all that to see if it made any difference. And I've encountered the white screen of Nope trying to browse the Steam store. Or Would the you? flickering in the uh, library. Mm. Yeah, the the white screen on Nope is the thing that I'm getting, where you just that, click on a thing and it's just like nothing. Yeah, you would think Valve, like the thing that makes your money, you you want <laughs> you'd want to like make sure that that would be like on the flow chart of like shit not to break. It would be somewhere up towards the top, and that is broken on multiple people's PCs on Linux now. Um, and another thing I've noticed because it happened the third time, it happened this afternoon. Uh, it is taken to i would say maybe to what maybe one out of seven chance it just forgets my uh steam drive interesting i've you i've know. had that happen sometimes if you accidentally like have multiple steam clients running mm. i've i've had I mean i've th- i've had it happen before i remember the first time i had a, like a panic attack i'm like what did i just go into like you in game then download i'm like oh i just click oh everything's back i'm fine uh i've had to do that three times in the past probably at least once a week I'm going to say that, that's that not, one that's never not, happened that's completely at <laughs> random too. And like, you know, enough to like, let's go check the smart drive, uh, make sure. No, that drives healthier than, and it's like that old, um, Kingston 250 gig drive. Mm. That should be dead. That thing's healthier than every drive in the system. 
<laughs> yeah. It's I, that I, drive. The, the, like Kingston actually has pretty decent SSDs for like the, for the money you pay for them. I, w- I was pleasantly surprised. Dude, with, like, this was the one that I bought on online. Newegg. Like when we were first starting to do the show and New, Newegg sent me an email. It's like, hey, we got a 250 gig SSD for 90 bucks. It's like, I guess I'm buying a 250 gig SSD this morning. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because that was unheard of, man. Like At the it, time, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was like three, three bills easy for a 250 gig SSD. So, I don't know. Uh, how about you? Any, any thoughts on this other than like install it if you want? It's not going to break anything. If you, if I tend to, what do you do? I always run the betas unless it gets like something just straight extra breaks. squirrely, like creating uh, a bunch of uh, calls to X that would just prevent you from uh, starting any more windows like it did no, three pe- betas ago. No, that's how I test right endurance. <laughs> But yeah, no, uh, it, it's the, for me, it's the, when you go to, if you have the hardware accelerated rendering mm-hmm. and you open the general view of the library, you see all the covers of the games, uh-huh. it starts flickering really bad. Oh. So, uh, yeah, no, that, that needs fixing. Uh, but no, for me, uh, the thing that I noticed was more advanced HDR options, uh, or move the advanced HDR options to the developer settings on the Steam Deck. Very good. Yes, very nice. Actually expose that to, so that people know where they are. Very good. <laughs> I should try that out and not be able to see what the fuck I'm playing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you can <laughs> get that, um, that episode of uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> HDR on the deck, man. Just turn turn it on and just not be able to see anything. I mean, it, it will save a lot of, a lot of battery. Oh yeah, because the screen <laughs> yeah. will be off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So that's an interesting update, uh, and I do want to uh, say thank you again, Valve person, uh, for making my um controllers now reconnect. Uh, without I don't have to pair. Mm. not pair power on what, whatever the wireless controls before starting the game anymore it's back to how it was in the good times where you i can start a game then and cut like, the controller on after starting the game and, and everything just works and i'm that's life-changing uh so jordan are, are you are you ready to uh yeah i'm ready to snap into a slim jim oh yeah <laughs> macho <laughs> madness i'm the cream of the crop baby uh, yeah, this is new games. We got Beef Jerky. Uh, this is a uh, hour long game. It's very, very short. Uh, it, it is a apparently a combination between a JRPG short narrative experience and a boxing game. Uh, apparently, you can punch an old lady in the face in this, so that's pretty cool. People seem to like it, although it is like that. Like uh, it says on the tin, it's about an hour long. It's a short narrative experience. It's done by a single guy. Uh, so yeah, I, Albert I was, Kim. Albert Kim. Yeah, he has uh, one other game out. Um, on Steam, so I don't know. It it definitely looks interesting, and if I don't know, it, it could be it could be entertaining for like an hour's worth of fun. It is it is six bucks though, which is a little a little pricey, but I don't know. It's like a mo- that's less than a movie ticket. So yeah, I was about to say. I mean, I bought yeah. a drug. I have paid more for drugs <laughs> yeah. that lasted for last time. Um, yeah, so. four ninety nine. I mean, that's not too bad. Uh, Isaiah leads a boring life in the United States. Uh, Struggling, whatever, dark, short, narrative, JRPG. What do we need to run this? Uh, Ubuntu, SteamOS 2, 1 giga. I'm down. Yeah, modest. I don't know. Ever since Zombie Admin, I'm like, okay, one hour, that 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 might be just good enough that it doesn't overstay its welcome. So maybe. <laughs> maybe maybe people are going to speed run it. I mean, I, you look at the trailer. The trailer might sell you. Go check out our show notes. There'll be links to everything. Uh, Justice Punch. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. And he's like beating up a chicken. Yep. All or right. Duck or whatever. Or whatever. That bird some, some, sort of water, some sort of fowl. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And like right at the beginning. So it's got like one of those, uh, you've probably seen one before, like in old magazines, like one of those square TVs with like those big cassette tapes. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I think it takes place like a like hundred years ago. Yeah. La- you know, last century. <laughs> last century. I mean, a has- hundred years ago was 1923. World War One. <laughs> <laughs> Always with World War One with you. Um, so, 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 he, he's, he's a big Sabaton fan, man. That's what it is. He's always talking about it. It's got to work. Um, <laughs> stack machines. Oh, geez. Rick, 
Really? Yeah. Okay. M- so, m- more edutainment. <laughs> no. Uh, did, did you games. did you play the uh, PS4 the remaster to the PS4 game that came to PC? Do do you remember my least favorite part of that? Well, fuck yes. Somebody <laughs> decided to make an entire game based on it. Uh, getting crap from point A to point B, push and pop your way through puzzles. And guess what? Uh, you can optimize things, man, because this has the equivalent of like resistor values on a bunch of the things that you can stick and plug in and plug together. And uh, I, I was immediately like looking at the video and it's like scrolling down. I was like, similar to games you've played, Baba is hell no. Uh-uh. I don't, <laughs> I'm not having that in my life. Uh-uh. You, you, don't, you don't need that stress. <laughs> no. Like if that, if that, that's just telling me, man, that's just like, you don't, you don't want to fuck with this. I'm like, oh, okay. Yes, Steam. Um, and you know what? That could be a good thing. That could absolutely be a bad thing. But I mean, it's even got histograms, and they make it make it a point of that. And I'm like, that that's a feature in this game. Or optimization metrics is. If you got a kid that um, you Keeps know assembling your television is yeah. going to be a fucking engineer <laughs> when they grow up, like maybe I wouldn't want to. I would. Uh, oh, jeez. Here's here's the thing. I would find joy if this was maybe like three notches more realistic mm. <laughs> like you know if, if i had like metal film resistors and like actual point values and it was telling me to build something and like walking me through like breadboard prototyping and stuff like that i'm like all right give me a challenge you know yeah can I, you take I, along I, those pliers and just short a couple of things to make well, sure to, <laughs> well you, you can just learn. gem them into your computer and do the same thing <laughs> um like, uh, what's a good way to create like a system clock without a system clock? Challenges like that. Yeah, I, I, it, 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 pr- programming games, man. I, that I, I, was I, the I day old man then realized, like, oh, that's what a fast switching diode is. All right. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't I, like. Yeah, like like Ben said, if you if you have a very smart child who's like constantly disassembling your electronics, you can probably give them this, and they'll they will be happy as a clam. Either that, or they're going to be playing Call of Duty, bros. So. Oh uh, well, you know you gotta you gotta wait like six. Fortnite years nowadays, it's just Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> Roblox, Roblox, yeah. Minecraft. Yeah, the children you, they keep yearning for the mines. I don't uh, know, man. What was the um? What was what was considered educational games when you were growing up? Math Blaster, like Mavis Beacon. I, I, you know, even like uh, Super Mario, he's just typing, typing of the dead, that kind of stuff. I okay, like edutainment. Like we were playing at school. Um, I vaguely it was on one of the Macs. I, uh, I guess technically Oregon Trail is edutainment. Oregon, too. Uh, okay, I think that's yeah. just like universal. <laughs> it's like the yeah. oxygen of the um edutainment mm-hmm. uh ecosphere. Uh, this was like one where you were a, a person like in a blue jacket with a camera, and you were taking pictures of stuff of, like evil robots or some shit. Somebody's okay. going to remember this. Oh, M- Mir brings up Carmen San Diego. Those Carmen San Diego, were- yes, very good. Uh-huh. And we did uh, get the, some. There City. was one that was like a dungeon that uh, you had multiple, like look like cell doors, uh-huh. and you'd pick one and you'd have a math puzzle to do. Are you sure that the- wasn't like the teacher's PC with that Playboy disc in it? There was. There was. Uh, <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> there was because one I did all of those math puzzles multiple times. I got robbed, man. <laughs> there was. There was this one edutainment game I played a bunch of as a kid, where you had to like build cars and engines, and you had to like set the gear differentials and stuff, and like. I played the fuck out of that today, man. Yeah. yeah. And you had to like you had to like beat certain like, tracks simulator. And, like, that is yeah. on Steam. <laughs> I, you know, like games that I just have to put down, even back in the day, like Crayon Physics Deluxe and stuff like that. They. Like, I, I love screw screw around physics games, but uh, Cro- Crayon Bes- physics was actually I, I, very it, nice. Yeah. Qu- question, question: Is besiege entertainment? <laughs> In my household, if I had children, absolutely right. Like that. That is that is how like with your significant other. That's how that line gets drawn. I'm like, here's the compromise. All right, <laughs> yeah. here, here you go. Build a robot that jerks off fire onto a bunch of. <laughs> Man, yeah, back when it was an early access, man, there was there was some crazy shit. I, I should probably check out the Besiege subreddit. They probably elevated it even more. Coming up next, we got some really, really fast NVIDIA drivers and praise for EA. If you'd like to speak in tongues, you should watch Linux Gamecast Weekly being recorded live every Saturday at whatever time we start. There's a thing on Twitch if you... Uh, Click the uh, little schedule. You'll what see when we go you to live. Say that. I have no idea. The haunted <laughs> unicorn. 
<laughs> Indeed. Well, if, if 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 you would like to if you would like to exercise our demons or you know exercise our thighs, head on over to patreoncom slash <laughs> Uh Become a Patreon, and uh, you can get access. Dot thigh master should be a TDL. DLA. Dot thigh. Dot thigh dot thigh dot master. <laughs> Somebody work out something we can buy with that, so we can get live oh, yeah. dot thigh mat dot mask dot er. Is, is is there a dot t e r or a t e r oh, we can do oh, like dude dude how far back in the royalty could can we get like a thigh duke <laughs> a, 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 a thigh viscount a thigh a count? viceroy yeah yeah mm-hmm. a thigh a, a viceroy uh, the <laughs> all right but, yeah viceroy join, 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 join our patreon join our twitch get access to our discord channel rsv vp to game streams i do borderlands on thursday ven does trackmania on tuesdays and fridays if you want to play with us get into our discord rsvp do that good shit you can get access to our show notes get your name in the credits custom rss feed for the pre pre super shows and you can listen to us blather on about spug or uh, yeah it was sp- uh, spooge, spooge, our, 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 our <laughs> some based technology or yeah. new startup that yeah. we're working yeah. on. Yes, um, we gotta we gotta thank uh, Mr. Foxdog, uh, Michael. He, he increased he his increased, pledge by a dollar. He did. Dog. Boo. He did. Dog. You know, you know that exchange rate is rough, but we really appreciate it. Any any support at all? Thank you for the uh, dollar reduce. <laughs> we got we got a store as well. If you want to support us that way, advertise us to the world by putting hell elks on your body or your car or your laptop bag. I don't know. Uh, get people very confused about mayonnaise and tell them no, it's actually a Linux podcast. <laughs> that'll, uh, that'll 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 put them on the right track. We got tote bags, we got stickers, all that good stuff. We got wish zones as well. If you go on, on over to linuxgamecast.com, we got support buttons. Put your mouse over it, move it down. I have one. Ven has one. Jill has one. Pedro has one. Yeah, lots of lots of stuff on there. You can buy for us. You can send us a little note. We'll read it on the air within reason. And if you buy Ven some stuff, you get your name in lights. I almost had a fire hazard because of these lights. How many, okay. but how many I, lights all right fuck that i had a straight up legit fire hazard because of these lights uh something i got in i ordered yesterday is it like a new power strip mm-hmm. a replacement for the one that was like super shady didn't it get like some tea on it or something or no 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 this is just like the america i had a used one like it was the first one i bought just like the, like hey is this gonna work and i mean like all the plugs are like just flopping around in the back because they've just been worn that a lot mm-hmm. but it still kind of worked and i need some new power holes and I've been using that, and I'm like, oh, they finally got, you know, the American DJ power. They went back to regular price, and I was like, picked up like 30 bucks. So I reworked the power in this rack, and there's a shitload of equipment sitting back in this rack, but it's not pulling a lot of power. It's just a lot of shit to plug in. It's one of those situations of, like, just Play, Playing plug Tetris yeah. of, like, yeah. oh, yeah, like, this one takes up this much room, so how do I arrange them? This block's plugged into that one block, which is into that, and... So um, it goes on the far side, that so that it doesn't block anything? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. that nonsense, right? <laughs> yeah. And um, so, for our um, fog wall 2.0, thank you, Mike, it has, you know, it's got the LEDs built into the corners mm-hmm. of it. So I go to unplug that from one of the extensions I have plugged into it. One of the plugs came out. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> the, 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 the prong is like, you pull yeah, it out, the, you're the, like, The other Uh-oh. prong is like, mm-hmm. right then. I, That's where that smell was coming from. Got it. I, I, <laughs> a little I, melty. I, 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 there, there, it wasn't there, even there melty is, because it was such a low bullshit voltage. It was... There, there is, there is one wall outlet in this house that has the ground thing like jammed into it because it snapped off, oh. and so I don't use that outlet anymore. Yeah, I just think I'm not gonna mess with that. Yeah, no. Like you win. Point, <laughs> yeah, point yeah, outlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just get, I'll get another extension cord, and we'll just find another outlet. Let's, let's not fuck around to find out. Um, yeah, that, that, that was kind of interesting, but yeah, I, it was easy to replace because it's like, like I said, it was like five volts, so I just used the USB adapter thing and plugged in. We're fine. Uh, better luck next time. Like, well, you're not burning down or irritating that uh, no melty house. Thank you for your support. Um, like fucking Star Trek. Yeah, live and uncut shit. I got some videos I'm working on. A um, bunch of stuff. I'm trying to figure out the right way to attack the Firewire on Linux video. I've, I've got like pretty much the script written. That's done. I got to do some B-roll shots. Doing a game scope video. Um, I still want to do one on that art um, transformer isolator for audio that I bought. Just for fuck around, we're going to be doing a couple of like, I get just a couple of things I've been wanting to film. Like, here's some random, how does a audio de from, you know, 1976 
matchup against a free audio plugin hmm. for DSing. Like silly stuff like that. Uh, but these are videos that I've been wanting to do. So keep a lookout for those. Just, just to troll the vintage gear folks. It's like, ah, you could do this better on a $2 computer, you <laughs> assholes. Um, well, I, there's like a bunch of Holy War stuff. Mm. That because one of the things like with the Firewire video I'm working on right now is walking through and explaining. Here's the difference between, uh, like a focus right, the big chunky YouTuber special, like the 18i20 or 16, whatever I think it's 18i20. Those things are like 600 bucks, but you can get a Sapphire Pro 40, the OG version of that, for like 80 bucks. And you're thinking, well, you know, it's been 14 years. They've made some changes. And I'm like, oh, let's go to the manuals for each of these devices, get the specifications directly from Focusrite, put them right next to each other, see if we can play spot the rounding error. <laughs> so some people are going to have a, like, wait a minute. I'm like, yeah, audio technology that has not, uh, we, we figured out digital recording around 2005. We were good. We got it down. We got the problem solved. And since then, we've been putting blinky shit on audio interfaces. Just making them around. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, they've, they've been getting better. What's really happened is, um, and this is like one of the things we're trying to talk through with people, is uh, what has happened is that audio interface, you, you know, yes, but that was like a $700 audio interface back in the day. You can get the equivalent technology of that for like 100 bucks now. Yeah, the co- economy of scale. Exactly. Yeah. We've got better at making the stuff. You can get like crazy high quality and absolutely make albums. So I love doing stuff like that, and I, I, I'm getting to phrase it in a very fun way with Firewire support under Linux. This, it's radical, still a thing. this radical thing. <laughs> <laughs> it still works. <laughs> it works. It's amazing, but I'm, I've like definitely run into like the wall of, like, by the way, you got to uninstall Firewire. That's a hard Ooh. sell out of the gate, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit, yep. So yeah, I, I, I got to work with the narrative. I got to get everything flowing to figure out how like deep I want to go or shallow. It's just, it's one of those things, man. I'm trying to tell a story. Hmm. Ta-da. Thank you for your support. LinuxTeamCast.com. Support. If you got it, share the show, all the fun stuff. Come hang out with us. Come play uh, Trek Mania with us on Tuesdays and Fridays if you want. And uh, Jordan's playing Borderlands on Thursdays. I think we're, we're, get, we're getting close to the end though. So you guys are. I think so. At least, at least for like the main story, I know there's, I know there's DLC and a bunch of like side missions and stuff that like maybe we'll get back to one day. But I, I kind of just want to get the, I want to get like the main story done. So I'm gonna make a right. plan for that. And uh, if you got any like long form questions about any of the things we do on the show, tomorrow's the best time to ask. I'm gonna try to start those here on Twitch at like 11:30. We're gonna start editing stuff that's not gonna fit in the show. You know, if you're like showing up and go, what are your thoughts on X, Y, Z? I'm like, yeah. Ask me that on Sunday. <laughs> a, a, B, a, B, C, obviously. Yeah, During the intermissions, it. sure. While we're recording, eh, probably not. Well, I mean, well. <laughs> this is why you got to watch like the full version that we put, that we post on the LGC on you, cut, right? Like, you do, oh man, this one's going to sound like dope as hell too. You know, we've been, I do a live and uncut version of our shows because I know people want that three, four hour content of like shit that I don't really people have talking. to pay it. Yeah. I, I don't have to pay attention to it, but they are talking about shit I'm interested in. So occasionally you can tune in and be like, oh shit, I'm interested in like whatever's going on. I was like, oh no, they're talking about fist of thumbs again. Never mind. No, never mind. Um, <laughs> I'm recording this, like just like directly with Reaper. And it's, this is going to be, you're going to pop this one in. We're, we're going to say, like trying to get it within my size requirements because I try to keep it under 200 megabytes. For the love of, that's a big MP3, kids. Um, it should sound really good. Let me know what you think next week. Now, before my voice gives out, let's talk about. Display drivers. Always. Hey, traditional LGC news. <laughs> Got to bring it in, man. Is, is, is it the first of the year? Uh, I don't. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe sure. the second. Version five thirty thirty zero two beta is out. Uh, Three hundred twenty eight megs. We need to do like a graph of how big these things have gotten over the years because i think when we were started they were like 180 maybe mm-hmm. there's a, there's a it lot was more like, under 200 megabytes yeah <laughs> th- there is a lot more like game specific stuff now too so like yeah well not a whole lot in this uh the big one that i i want to they've added application profile to avoid performance problems with xfce4 when open jail compositor back in 
is enabled along with the G Sync, to which I'm like, okay, that's that's cool, whatever. Didn't really care. What like got me excited, Jordan, uh, they've changed the compression format of the run installer from XZ to ZSTD, which yeah. results in a smaller package, uh, but faster decompression performance, to which I'll say, yo, like yeah. you're not not even <laughs> joking about that run file because that's just been like, okay, we type that. Wait, yeah, wait, wait a minute. Sometimes like the dots will reach like the other side of the screen. Didn't even get a chance. No, it's like, damn. Yeah. Now, now really all you got to fix is that whole, like having to bust down to run level three to like install the damn thing. That would be nice to fix. Uh, for me, um, I, I installed them and I guess DKMS fucked up because I had to regenerate my init RAM FS after the installation. I threw that command in the show notes in case you are interested and you get if you are on Fedora and you run into this issue because sometimes it do happen. The RA cut F. <laughs> yep. Also, I found out afterwards that there is just a drag cut command for regenerating all of your init RAM FSs, mm-hmm. which, you know, I might have I might as well included. But, you know, this this one is the shorter command. It will take the time. Uh, and and yeah. it creates a little back of your original uh, edit rem FS, just in case. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> L- listen, when when you mess around in your boot partition, take a backup. You, you, you never know. You never know and what kind of fat they, finger bullshit they, you're going to... I ran a backup sometime last year. <laughs> I, 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 listen, I'm, I use a raid. I don't need to backup. There we go. See, you got advanced <laughs> strats like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I, I, I I like the audible ka-chunk sound that Pedro's <laughs> brain just made right now. Because <laughs> you said it, and I'm like, wait, a, no, 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 no. Uh, and that's when you hold up your two external floppies. <laughs> yeah, by, by raid zero floppies, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, w- I wonder if the Floppotron is running on raid zero. <laughs> Beeps per minute. Good news, it's no longer a meme. Hey, it's actually released this time for real, you guys. Godot 4.0. It, it's out. It's actually proper out this time. It's not okay, a beta, it's not right, a release hang candidate. On, hang on. Like, we we <laughs> still talk about the revisionist history of our little, um, little protagonist here, yeah. who used to be this horrifying <laughs> mechanical roach. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, it, 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 it's uh, become less of a robot and more of a... Uh, a meeple. Funko Pop? It's just uh, a Funko Pop now. <laughs> so wait, are, are, but listen, we're not going to find Godot Engine Four in the landfill with millions of other Funko Pops. <laughs> not yet, but yeah, no, it is uh, the the little robot guy has become less of a robot and more of a Funko Pop. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, no, it's 4.0. It's the version of Godot that brings the Vulcan button and um the web uh, web Godot stuff, so you can play the games and do godot things directly on your browser it's now officially there download it give it a try it's yeah it's out go yeah. nuts <laughs> now that vulcan is a real boy too hopefully we're gonna start seeing more 3d games from godot uh because yeah. like G- godot has always been like real good with 2d and like in godot 3.0 they started introducing some 3d stuff it's all using opengl 3.1 no one wants to really write opengl code no one really wants to write vulcan code but at least you have tooling to do that now um, and, uh, the other thing too, is now that 4.0 is out, 3.x is going to move to long-term support. Doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. They're still going to maintain it. They're still going to give it security patches, but all the main development effort is now going to be on the 4.x lifecycle and hardening that, improving it, adding more crap. It's very good. It's very good. <laughs> oh man. I'm just going back in time. I'm trying to find like the original OG, um, <laughs> the, 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 the creepy Godot face that's like, killing me. Why was I programmed Let's to feel pain? Like, when did we first start? 2013. June 7, seems, that seems a little. It seems a little early, doesn't it? Yeah. So, <laughs> tw- tw- 2016, maybe I think is probably a good, a good spot. 2016. What do we have for the uh, way back? Oh come on! All right. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Listen, archive.org is like criminally underfunded. Dude, donate, yes. give, give them some money. Seriously, please. donate some money to the. Uh, there you go. The, there, the, there you the, go. The, the icon on the top left. <laughs> it I had want, a mouth. <laughs> yeah, but I want it back when it had a thorax. <laughs> where, 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 where it had like the creepy eyes. It like had legs. There. It was like a yeah, roach. Yeah. Um, I know this exists. This is not a fever dream. It might be a fever dream. <laughs> Welcome back to Wayback Machine Cast. We're uh, 
Dude, this is this is peak content for our audio listeners. I'll have you know. Yeah, yeah this is like page three of Google right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll find it eventually, man. We'll find it eventually. I think it's a wonderful job, and four O is out, and that, we we've come a long way from like we're gonna hold off working on Vulcan until we can pay attention to the uh, what was it uh, Open GLES or something like that. Yeah, yeah. What, uh, what, GLES what is, what, for the Android uh, stuffs. Because yeah. that What's was the that was the of- future. What's what's the name of their commercial support company? The one that they spun off. It starts with a C, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, I, what I was gonna say is like they have that now too. So like, mm-hmm. you know, you can actually have a shot at porting your uh, your Godot games to consoles, and like that's gonna be really fucking cool to see like that start happening. It's gonna be. I'm curious to see if anyone's gonna take advantage of it. Mm-hmm. Because yes, please. W W four games. Thank you, Noctuo. Nako not 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 too cool. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm it's an interesting thing, but it's also an extra step compared to other game engines. Not Oku. Noctula. Noctula heat spreader. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, did you see that <laughs> Amazon? Late. Did you see that Amazon has their own um Yeah, they have ba- basic heat sinks now. <laughs> Dude. I I want my Amazon basic four heat pipes. That's you know <laughs> I mean, would you I mean, would you not? <laughs> In a pinch, I'm sure that will work wonders. <laughs> well, and like Amazon basic stuff isn't bad. Like this notebook is like an Amazon basics notebook I use for like jotting stuff down. That's pretty well made. Like it's got leather cover. It's got like decent paper quality. Just don't the buy batteries with batteries. <laughs> well, you, you can buy the Amazon basic battery. They're fine. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like the AA batteries. Those are fine. But like yeah, uh, yeah, actual yeah. electronic devices with batteries built in. Careful with them. <laughs> How God, much is this thing? This is like twenty six bucks. Now, here's the here, here's the thing. That is a about I don't know for inflation. How much was the Hyper Two Twelve when it was? That there? was like forty bucks. Forty five dollars. Yeah, it, it was thirty or thirty five. It seems like it was, I, I, I'm, I'm yeah. thinking Canada money though, so that that also. Oh, okay, yeah, no, bit. probably, yeah, yeah forty. Yeah, <laughs> Hyper Two Twelve. Original release date MSRP <laughs> price. And, oh, is there a price chart price tracker for these things? Would, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if there was. Honestly, uh, forty dollars around. Okay, according to Tom's Hardware, they were around around forty bucks at release. Um, okay, yeah, that, that, that's. I it was it was still like crazy cheap for like a really good heatsink. That was. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was like <laughs> one of the first uh, towered mm-hmm. heatsinks that you're like, oh, okay, all right, for and, actual heat pipes and proper contact with the CPU. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and like. They're super cheap. Like, I don't know. Dude. Well, everything's like the V2 right now, but yeah, you can get them right now at like micro. They still sell like the V2 at micro centers, like 30 bucks. So, all right. Or you can get the stupidly expensive, um, <laughs> either but, the black version or the RGB version. <laughs> here's, here's, okay. This is in danger. Not, okay. Here's the real question, everybody. Write in or leave a comment. Would you or would you not buy an Amazon AIO? I che- I definitely check the three and four star reviews. <laughs> and yeah, because uh, you know, air cooling is not a high stakes game, is it? No, no, but like that, that. That's the thing. Would would you make that purchase with zero Amazon reviews on the product? Would you be Would you be number one? Would you be on the no. ground floor? <laughs> no. If I see something on Amazon that has no reviews, it's like nope, not touching it. All right. So you <laughs> do come across it, and it, it's just. Middle of the what, what price though? Because okay, because you look at like a I I got like a super big I got a thread ripper water cooler in this thing, so it's uh, thank you, Arthur. Um, 360 or 380 red, it's big, super chunky boy, and it wasn't expensive, it was like 140 bucks. So, if let's say you get like a nice big chunky one that you're looking for with the minimum, you know, it blinks once or something like that for like 50. Oh, maybe maybe, uh, maybe 75 50 seems like they'd be cutting a lot of yeah 50 wise. even for like a 240 or a 280 uh, like 220 mils or 240 mils that 50 seems a bit low <laughs> yeah but little. this is amazon <laughs> they're, yeah they're so ma- that's, that's too low <laughs> they're they're making these to put people out of business it, yeah <laughs> and they're probably cutting as much cost as they probably can, uh, the, the, which means the, probably Amazon's leak. coming after Cooler Master, man. Oh mm-hmm. man! Like I said, I, I just I just want my Amazon Basics forty eighty. <laughs> oh, 
holy <laughs> shit, I'd own the fuck out of that, baby. Like, right, okay, right. Okay, yeah. GPU, that's, that's Nvidia, a different story. Nvidia, that's that's the, I want to try. To, yeah, okay, yes. Okay, we just right. found a way that would get me to buy a fucking, I don't know, like 40, <laughs> 40 70 maybe. Yeah, maybe yeah, if, yeah. If you, you could give me like the Amazon like orange shroud for the in the fans yeah, and like yeah, the yeah. off gray color and it just says Amazon yeah, just, Basics at the top. Just make it the ugliest fucking thing. Oh ever. fuck yes. Yeah. Orange, oh, yeah, orange and gray and like off it's got white. This smile on like the <laughs> yeah back yeah, plate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, yeah. No, no, no the, the the fan is just Jeff Bezos's head rotating. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! <sighs> let, 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 you know, let, let's talk about the one place not corrupted by capitalism. Spice, yeah, Command and Conquer Open RA, um, the open source reimplementation of the classic real time strategy game. They got a 2023 update, um, and they are adding support for Command and Conquer Remastered Edition on Steam and some initial support for the Tiberian Sun HD uh, remaster. That's not working all the way just yet. There's some optimizations. There's a bunch of memory leaks. They just they have gotten it working, and that is all they are promising. Uh, going through the big change log, Control Left Linux doesn't find anything. I did find some KDE specific fixes, um, <laughs> but like, I'll, yeah, I'll, a lot of it is just like uh, improvements, uh, better implementation, all that good stuff. Stuff you want to pull in on, yeah, fix icons. There you go. I, I, <laughs> I, I, found, I found the one KDE bug. Kate, cloak delay. No, man, <laughs> still thing. Cloak. KDE lay. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. You know, cloak it's the KDE delay, cloak yeah. with, with, spelt with a K cloak. Diet cloak. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that's going on. And again, it still baffles my mind. EA, su- EA fucking supports this. Yeah. Ep- Epic Bethesda. What, what's your excuse? Honestly, like, Money. Serious. no, no, yeah. no. The, see, I don't even know that that's Epic's excuse because they pulled the single player games from fucking GOG the fuck <laughs> why <laughs> so that they can re-release them later in Fortnite, and you have to pay in v bucks to play them it just wasn't costing them hosting it wasn't causing them a fucking thing fucking why Be- <laughs> because uh night dive's gonna remake with with ice skating physics yes <laughs> Whee! Gonna require, it's going to require the use of motion controllers. <laughs> it need, you know what? You need, cool. you need RTX. I have the alpaca. I could just use a gyro. It's fine. You, 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 you need the RTX version of Guitar Hero for PC. That, it's unplayable without it. <laughs> See if you can get frets on fire running on the Steam Deck. Maybe, yeah. Do it with the touchscreen. That would probably make the most sense. Yeah. A massive probability of dropping it, too. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll do, I'll do like a lap guitar, like a like a like a blues guitar, okay. Jeff Healy style. Now, if we could just here here's a billion dollar idea. You need to make a um, head display, a head mount for um 3D, so you can have your Steam Deck. You can turn your Steam Deck into a VR face containment unit and truly get face fucked by your VR toaster, so you can play with thorium. <sighs> No, it, need, it needs more toilet paper. It need it needs the, the, the fucking. That was <laughs> fucking <laughs> cool as fuck, man. right? Yeah, like I, I, I was not expecting that. Yeah, I was like, like I, I, all right, I, I, I'd play a party game. Yes, done. Yeah, well, yeah, it's like the game is about a roll of toilet paper, and your controller <laughs> is surprise a roll of toilet paper. All right, yep. Yeah. All right, let, yeah, let's talk. Let's talk about thorium. Because, yeah, bridge simulators. I love me some Star Trek. I love me some sci-fi. I love me some role playing. And bridge simulators have kind of been my gaming white whale. I know, like, for VR, they have stuff like Star Trek Bridge Commander, but I'm poor and I don't have virtual reality capabilities. So I gotta look at games like Thorium. Um, this is this is pretty neat. It has, like, um, they, they say it's, like, a tool for doing, like, spaceship LARPs. They, uh, there's, like, a dungeon master slash referee type user that can, like, take control of the situation and, like, inject new um, difficulties and so on and so forth. Um, and it's all Node.js based, so it runs in a browser and you can play this theoretically anywhere. And that's just really cool. The only problem I have is like getting people who are on board with trying this out and like not being assholes about it. So, (laughs) yeah, no, I was with you right up until the qualifier, not being assholes about it. (laughs) Yeah, that's, that's the tricky bit. 
I was, uh, it was kind of digging around, you know, just like looking from the background. Like this thing started out as like simulations for like uh, big places like space centers in Alabama. Apparently they have a space center out there where people simulate the spaces and like bridge stuff. The Ethereum Classic was, you know, it's been around since like 2016, man. Mm -hmm. uh, brick and mortar. And the whole Nova thing is like the, just this idea of what you can get people together online around the world. Much broader audience, you know, it, it's not quite as involved. And um, I think it's pretty cool, man. I mean, they're going to be working with like integrated tutorials and stuff. You know, for people like me, like I don't know any of that. Well, like let's so say pretty much people like everybody, because most people don't even know what a bridge simulator is. Mm. And um, but they do make a note. I was uh, reading some comments from people who played around with this. And they're like, this is this is a lot closer to like virtual tabletop sim mm -hmm. for starships yeah. versus like what I think we're all thinking, where we have our individual stations. And, you know, I'm sitting there, you know, piloting the, you know, Nimbus from Futurama on Braf. Mm -hmm. And because that's a bridge simulator game I want to play when somebody's got to send the kill bots. And... <laughs> wave after wave of their own men <laughs> after the kill bots until yeah. they reach their preset kill limit. Like, I, I got my man skirt ready and everything. Like... Velour. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't you have sex with me, Lila? <laughs> oh, man, that was so good. Um, uh, Bridge yeah, no. yeah, open source. Bridge simulator. Yeah, um, looks looks very cool. Patriot, you got anything to say about this? Uh, not really. It's not 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 my jam. I understand the social aspect of it, and some people really like that. I don't. Would would, would ray tracing sweeten the pot for you at all, Pedro? What if we let you be the ship? You can be like, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, so I don't have to talk and I don't have to do anything and just have a bunch of people manhandling ah, no, me. No, no, this is like no, 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 this no, is like first game. You have to carry this. Uh, you, you have gotta to carry this. You got to put up with this, and you, you got to like poop out a little baby ship. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, three. I'm the one from Farscape. Cool. Yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah. fine. Mo Moya, I, I, Moya, no, Point Moya, Moya. Yeah. <laughs> Pia. That's no, fine. I can play Moya. That that's okay. Oh, I'm a strong, independent spaceship. Don't get drunk flying to a star. Don't do that. No. <laughs> but no, uh, I don't think ray tracing would actually uh, change my mind on that Wouldn't because that I already hate if, social like, situations. You were with like halfway out, like through the galaxy, and you find out like your ship's got like clinical depression. Then you gotta get home. You're like, shit. Are we gonna go flying? Home? That, that, that was that was like straight up Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. They start giving the AIs are genuine people personalities. That's how you got Marvin. They're just like a clinically depressed robot. But yeah, if ray tracing is your gem, you know, completely searing off topic, uh, the, or back on topic as the case may be. The uh, some folks uh, decided, you know what? Let's fork the Xash uh, engine, the open source reimplementation of the Half Life engine, and the original Half Life, and introduce some ray tracing on it. it they did. Uh, currently, uh, if you want to use DLSS, which is what the new update brings, uh, you need to use the Windows version with Wine uh, and Proton um, because it doesn't have a native Linux implementation just yet. But you can try to build the one without uh, the LSS natively on Linux. So your performance might suffer a little bit, but you'll get to see the shiny rays and play a 1998 game at 20 FPS. <laughs> yeah, just like Quake 2. <laughs> yeah, that was 97. So yeah, not, not far off. There we go. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess, like, you know what? Fine, whatever. Because like for whatever reason, I was downloading um Apex. I'm like, maybe I'll try Apex, and it was like sixty eight gigs. I'm like, this is taking too long. You know what? Let's just download Half Life. <laughs> and I downloaded that, and I went to like follow the simple eleven day steps. To, it's not too bad. You get like decompress to uh, zip files uh, into the folder. Then, but then you got to start doing this other stuff. Then I'm like, ah, and you got to use Proton anyway. Fuck this. I'm out. Not to take any way anything away from it. I'm just like, no. Uh -uh. L you can, bit too uh, like high I said, effort curb. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in fact, this is the the way to uh, if you use the original Xash uh, engine. Uh, that's the best way to play Half Life on an ARM system. I that's how I got Half Life, the original one, working on the Pinebook Pro. It's 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 the the engine is very very well done. Uh, you might run into some weirdness on some software, uh, some hardware. Some people on the Raspberry Pi forums were saying that it crashes a lot. Mm. Uh, I blame G-Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
He's in your core stealing your megahertz. Right. Mm-hmm. Mr. Freeman, you need to downclock your CPU. <laughs> All right. Well, coming up next, we're going on an adventure. We're going to take our one leg and put it in front of the other leg. And then we're going to take the first Fuck. leg and put we it in front of the second one. God damn yeah. it. What? <laughs> Take my hand off to Never Neverland. This week, uh, in the Chairquisition, you know, that part of the show where we take a game run on a bunch of different Linuxes with some minorly different hardware. The, 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 I, that got thrown a monkey wrench this week because I got my Steam Deck. Um, but, you know, we, we, we play it on a bunch of different computers running a bunch of different Linuxes. We give you a score based on one, based on lawn chairs. One chair means that's scrap. Four chairs means that uh, it's great. Oh, uh, the, Jordan, the, the, he's waving at you. I know. Oh. It, 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 <laughs> Dude, it, it, the, the, the game is actually remarkably pretty cute. Uh, this week, we're taking a look at Joshua's Legs, done by Petit Legume, done on the Unity Engine. You can pick it up for about $14 US. What is it? Joshua's Legs is a unique pl- game with devious controls about a two-legged arachnid. Devious? To- devious. <laughs> devious. Like devious. 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 <laughs> devious. Devious. Um, hoping to find his long-lost prosthetic legs collection. Venture in a world that will only reveal its secrets to the true hardened climbers. I've got to thank Petit Legume for sending us some keys over Curator Connect. I guess let's get into it. Ven, how'd it run on Debian? Over here on Debian Bookworm, a.k.a. Debian Testing, on my 1920X3060 powered box of business that launches, and it launches in full screen. Got a couple of options in this guy, if you like sound, because that's about it. That's your options. You do get a screen that shows you the controls for the keyboard and gamepad. But, uh, oh, and I won't do want to point out, keyboard does in fact work, even though that's just an extra layer of hell I chose not to explore. What do we have, though, with Joshua's Legs? My first thought was, uh, you know, we talked about this uh, on the show when we first saw this come into early access and all the other things. And, you know, my first thought after maybe 10 minutes with this was like, y'all motherfuckers ever just sit back and say, you know what Quap needs? <laughs> A plot. Well, this is what you get, because you do play as Joshua, and the best I can tell, he's stuck in a vacuum cleaner. Something has happened to his family, and there are upgrades scattered around, and just about, they're there to aid you in your journey to, well, I, fuck if I know, I really don't know at this point. Over an hour in, I even picked up the map and learned about Josh being traumatized in summer camp. Nope. Still no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. However, Joshua's legs does the whole story story like slowly unfolding through exploration thing and i kind of like that you know it's been done before and it'll be done again and i guess i should say i would like that a whole lot more if movement wasn't such an absolute chore in this game yes i get it that's the thing however i rewatched the game trailer this afternoon i did and the developer had joshy swinging and booping so hard it would have made john ditko blush Steve. Well, John's his middle name. <laughs> Isn't it? I don't know. Because it is. Okay. Bitch. Um, <laughs> that's the, I, uh, I don't know. You don't go around calling me Abram, so shit. I don't know. You're not going to be moving around like that unless you have a few dozen hours under your belt. Now, an hour in my movement, you know, just an hour in, in my movement, it consists of walking and I might do the occasional jump misinformed jump bad jump usually jump ends upside down falling down a shaft that's my jump and i want to say joshua's legs could do with a little bit of a tra- traversal education mechanics maybe in that first hour not hand holding but give me something in the game itself that forces me to learn some of these skills that i'm going to need later on and yeah i understand that will absolutely take away what is genuinely in this game some of that ooky spoopy atmosphere but it might it just might keep people playing longer than 60 minutes. I genuinely like what I've played at this game so far, but you know, around the 45 minute mark, the ROI calculations uh, started kicking in on uh, my brain meets. I'm like, I don't know if I'm really going to get what I need out of this game, considering the time and like the time I had to go do other stuff. I'm like, can I spend 15 minutes trying to get up this one little bit, or can I go do these other six things? And I might go back and explore. Especially now that I have the spinny slingshot mechanic, which is not an unlockable. It's just something that you can do. And I stumbled across it by flailing around. Then I rewatched the trailer. I'm like, oh, it's even in the trailer. He's telling you right there, hey, you can do that. So if I got to give you a recommendation for this, 
If you're a Twitch tube streamer with anger issues, go ahead and pick Joshua's legs right the fuck up. I mean, you got it. This is like a printy a buck fifty. Don't worry about it. Now, if you're looking for like a well done Metroidvania that controls like a rabbit emu on a meth binge, fuck it. Pick up too. It's got it covered. You know, I have no doubt. Like you can just feel it, like right at the beginning, some games. Like th- th- this is charming. This is delightful. It's got something deep and it's got something dark in it. But I can't recommend it for the casual, you know, fuck you hard spider-based Metroidvania puzzle platformer connoisseur. It's just not quite there. But it does a good job for what it is. And I, I want to see more, but I also don't want to fight that fucking co-op mechanic. Because at the end of the day, no matter what you do, no matter how pretty it is, no matter how dark it might get, it's still co-op with a plot. Abram? Yeah. So on, what's your middle uh, name again? <laughs> what's my middle name? Uh, John, I think. Yeah, John Jingleheimer. <laughs> yeah, John Jacob Jingleheimer. Last Schmidt. four digits of your uh, <laughs> Jordan, Jordan Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt is right. my name. His Jordan. name is my name too. <laughs> Whenever I go out, the people always shout. Yeah, on Fedora 37 64 bit with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti launches out of the box. Launches out of the box on the deck as well. I would hope so. Um, there uh, is barely enough stuff drawn on the screen to truly tax any level of CP- uh, GPU. I'm pretty sure you could get away with CPU rendering and still not drop below 120 frames a second. It's not a bad thing, though. Uh, I, th- I think the, minimal- the minimalist art style works for this sort of game. My wife called it super fucking cute. So sh- there- there's that. Consequently, because of the lack of graphical fidelity, there are no resolution options. Also, no cloud saves, which is something you want when you're playing games on the deck, so you can like play them elsewhere and not just on the deck. Uh, the controls cloud are extra. Saves are expensive, you know. Right, absolutely. There's also there's also you know the fucky controls, but you know it's kind of the point. Uh, fun? I, yeah, I don't think it's particularly fun. Uh, I really like the minimal start style, and I love the show and absolutely never fucking tell anything storytelling. But do I have fun playing it? No. The jump, uh, frankly, it hurts my thumbs. The jumping sucks. And here's the thing. That's fine. This game is not for me. It is aimed at people who like stuff like Meat Boy or getting over it with Ben Fadi. People who love to just like, it, it, like, it is a physical challenge of your ability to execute the tasks that the game designer put in front of you. And some folks, they really relish that challenge. They can push back on the frustration and master the super, super janky mechanics and fly around like Joshi in the trailer because, yeah, you can get you can probably get to that point. It is probably very likely that after several hours of this game, you'll be fairly competent at, about, at it. But that takes all that time and effort that I really just don't have. Um, so the the best I can say is like this is it's 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 well put together. It's not lazy. Clearly, there's a lot of work. Uh, there's clearly a lot of work put in the narrative. The 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 gameplay and puzzles are tuned. Like everything is completely doable. It's just you know, being literate enough with the controls in order to actually execute on that. I'm going to give it two chairs. Like, you, you may like it. I didn't. But there's nothing wrong, like, with the game. The general sentiment. Um, over here, uh, it also launched out of the box on both the desktop with the 5800X 3D and the RX uh, 6700 XT. It launched out of the box on the deck. It holds whatever FURPS your screen is refreshing at. Uh, the f- font in the menu is a bit blurry, and as someone who wears, you know, glasses, spectacles, whatever you want to call them, that shit threw me off. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, I, don't I make the not, fonts wait, real no, no, blurry. No, I, I thought your <laughs> glasses were not corrective. <laughs> uh, they're not. They're but hipster I, glasses, right? They're just for looks. <laughs> the right lens is supposed to correct uh, the thirty degrees uh, that my right eye is missing. It's physically smaller. Because, you know, astigmatism. But yeah, no, that, that, that messed with me. It's like, oh God, are my glasses blurry? What, what's going on? Just, no, no, that's just the fun. All right, cool. Uh, but yeah, the, there's background noise, but that seems to be it. I think it's trying to build up atmosphere that you're absolutely not going to enjoy because you're flailing around much like you see on the video version. Uh, controllers seem to work as long as they have two analog sticks. Keyboard controls are WASD and IJKL. Uh, so, yeah, no, not for me, unfortunately. As for the fun, well, like Vanna Jordan already mentioned, do you ever feel like Quop was missing uh, Metroidvania-style mechanics? 
Joshua's legs is the game for you then, quite literally. Uh, you navigate where you can poorly and collect bugs, rings, movement upgrades. Uh, and, you know, while I was fumbling around, <laughs> like you see, I was thinking, boy, am I glad video games uh, made movement slash jumping a single digital or analog input. You push a button to jump and you wiggle the left analog stick forward to move forward. That was amazing. That is truly, <laughs> uh, it, it's up there with sliced bread in the uh, human invention scale for me. I'd hate video games if they all played like this uh, for a game that's, you know, very keen on analog stick movement. It seems to also not account for stick bounce if you let go of the sticks too quickly and it just goes the opposite direction of what you want to do, which is especially uh, noticeable when you're trying to do the shitty little uh, propelling jump. That's... No, just... No, I ended up having to just crack open Steam input and increasing the dead zone on the sticks, because if the game's not going to account for it, I will make it account for it. And after that, it got a little better, and I could at least reliably jump in the direction that I wanted, but it still wasn't enough to make me like the game. Um, Spider Quoptroidvania is not a bad game, but I don't like it. Two chairs. Gentlemen, yeah. um, can we just all come and gather around, like, no matter what your thoughts on this, but the legend of the developer, the absolute balls of this developer, to put a fucking speed run mode in this game. <laughs> After I, watching I, I the video, do. there's two types of speedruns. You, you, you got to yeah, tip for something in that direction. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> good on you, mate. I mean, that's. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I would love to see a GDQ of this. Like, I, dude, I went uh, immediately when I saw speedrun. After okay, I did. I, I saw there was speedrun. I played it for like a nanosecond. I paused the game and I went to YouTube. I was like, show me this. Show me. Fuck it. I don't believe <laughs> you. And YouTube's like, okay, maybe. No, not yet, but one day. That's, I mean, it, it, it is a new game, right? Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did come out, yeah, last month. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say good on you for having a speed road. Because uh, this is like a borderline desert, um, desert island game. I'll still yeah. take Baba any day of the week. Yeah. Well, uh, well, the other the other speedrun mode is for tasks. So I want to see like what kind of stupid shit are, you can put a you can task a robot to do with this stuff. Right. Okay. Like, I, thank you for bringing that up. That is yes. There, there's a yes. I mean, like I'm saying, um, the absolute balls on this. Uh, I, I appreciate it. And yeah, I want I want to watch this. And it's co-op with a plot. It's getting over it with a plot. And. No lie, I'm curious as what the plot is because you get like little hints and clues in the background, and like, oh, he's taking it. There's the spider parents taking him to the spider bus stop. I, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the one to take this bullet. I am damn surprised Pedro did not make a Dark Souls reference to the to the storytelling here. Oh, I, I could have easily made multiple uh, Dark Souls references, uh, yeah, yeah, including. Listen, I, I, I'm applauding <laughs> your restraint. Don't, mm -hmm. don't, don't fucking let me down now, you freaking mm -hmm. idiot. <laughs> See, now that you mention it, the whole going down a certain path until you hit a uh, dead end, uh, and then coming coming up next, we got some hate mail. We're 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 gonna, we're gonna put a bow on this. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, it's finally over. Yes, you will not have to put up with our shenanigans in your um, audio timeline. We're, uh, we're in the, for we're in the much absolute longer. fuck are they like downloading this show without timestamps? I don't know. <laughs> you, you clearly <laughs> do when you're real holding this way information from us. <laughs> the the, the, the Russian YouTube everything. channel that rehosts all of our stuff, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> Is there like a Brazilian service that does that? What about China? China's got to have like a... I know China oh, does probably. have yeah. Oh man, I want to see like the, the party approved version of Linux Gamecast. <laughs> We're not blocked in China. It's just one all, continuous man, so. beep. No. <laughs> we're, we're like, we, we get, they don't give a shit about like arguing uh, about, about nerd yeah. stuff, man. They're like, whatever, go for it. No, yeah, the <laughs> Chinese government doesn't give a shit about us yet. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But yeah, there is, uh, the, if you're not. Next week, we'll have the Winnie <laughs> the, the Pooh costumes. Trend. Smash cut to just like me being black bagged and dragged out of the room by like. <laughs> 
<laughs> like a, oh. a smoke grenade just like pops into the room. Oh like, yeah. You, well, you know, you know, you're in trouble, Ben. Like it just it cuts to like, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Foo Fighters. Uh, <laughs> but shit, what's the name of that song? Um, Big Me. <laughs> Which one? Um, I don't know. <laughs> damn it. Whatever. As you were saying. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, if you happen to be uh, in one of those countries that does limit your uh, internet usage to some degree, how the hell did you run across this particular show? And welcome. Drugs. Stick around. <laughs> but yeah, no. The best way to get in touch is to go to, yes, also drugs, linuxgamecast.com. Uh, hit the contact button. There's a form you got to fill at the bottom of that page. At the top, there's some caveats. You should absolutely read them no, if I'm, your I'm, thing doesn't I'm get to us. I'm watching the big me Foo Fighters video right now, Jordan Pedro. So I can't do. It. Hang on, let me see <laughs> this one. All right, uh, other tab. Okay, got it. All right, done. done. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I imagine if I heard the song, I'd recognize it. But I just, instantaneously, I just don't know about, it. Don't know about when the I title. talk about it, carries on. When I talk about it, carries on. Uh, no, maybe they didn't release it in Canada. Yeah, maybe it didn't get a lot of radio play in Canada. It wasn't a lot. It was important. Well, apparently his name was Robert Paulson. Uh, but the... Uh, <laughs> what if it was Slim Shady, you fucking heretic? His name is John Ditko. <laughs> Jingleheimer Schmidt. Marshall Masters? Uh, no. It, the <laughs> It is... Yeah, no, that's the best way to get in touch. Just use the contact form. The caveats are there for your own sake. So if your thing doesn't get to us because you didn't read, that's on you. Hmm. So... Uh, uh, up first, what do we have? Um, we, 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 we Kai got Kai Doobie? Oh shit! Kai I just thought about it. They could be listening to the show on cassette. Maybe, yeah. Because I future. might have lost a bit, but damn, I'm getting close to getting a tape recorder. <laughs> so, so one, one, one day soon. All if right, you're well, that uh, person, you dang hipster. Well, this is this is from Kai Doobie, <laughs> K- not not Kadoobie, Banjo Kadoobie, uh, and th- they're saying, uh, "How did no one bang suggest Gunky Kazoo?" Which is probably a thing that one of us said. In well, the I think we episode. need uh, what we, we were talking we, we about. Were, yeah, the donut tree. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we were like you know nipple deep in uh, kazoo mythology. I mean, last if you week. don't understand, right. like you're, you're thinking to yourself, <laughs> you can't grow a donut tree, old man. Then that's silly. And I'm like, ah, well, you see, this is where the kazoo comes in, and you have to be eating the donuts <laughs> and playing the kazoo in order to generate the donut seeds. I, I, th- I thought this was going to turn into like a raised by wolf situation where you eat a bunch of donuts and then you become the tree. Tune in next week. <laughs> so, yeah, if you just like smash cut to this and you're like, hey, what's going on? You can bang suggest show titles. And um, Booty was like, yo, uh, why didn't nobody get Gunky Kazoo? And I'm like, fair enough, fair enough, because there was quite a bit of a kazoo talk there at the beginning. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. We, we learned about kazoos, like what premium didn't kazoos we? are like, electric kazoos, yeah. wish.com <laughs> kazoos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, you know what? Yeah, I would never inhale from a Yeah, no, com. don't inhale on any, any blow instrument. Just don't. Uh, <laughs> hang on, everybody. <laughs> that was an inhale. <laughs> now I'm just going to have to knock that down about 16 dB at 1 hour and 27 <laughs> minutes. Um, All right. I don't know. Have you, tried, you, you ever tried to, like, inhale on a trumpet? That's have the, you that's ever tried to fun. inhale an alpaca? Yes, it didn't end well. Carl, <laughs> you've gone too far this time, Carl. The car. Listen, Carl is inside me now. Literally, <laughs> I inhaled him. Yeah, no, uh, it, it should totally be called Carl. Uh, but uh, y- you probably saw. Uh, thank you very much again, Jordan, for fixing my English, and Ven for uh, fixing I my you video. Were say thank you, Alpaca, for sending me the controller, you monster. <laughs> and yeah thank you input labs for sending me because the alpaca yeah, if i was input labs and like bitch you're just gonna fucking gloss this over again for another week all right <laughs> all right i did mention it multiple times both in the video and uh in the uh, written review so thank you thank you very much uh but yeah no uh the video is up now and there were a few comments uh on the youtube videos as it happens and Grin JP had ones like this looks really cool and extremely precise but i just don't have the tools to build it I don't even have a soldering iron. I could probably use a 3D printing service to get the body printed. Um, about how much uh, was the components in PCB? And from my experience from the Input Labs Discord server, a bunch of people have gone through 
like, you know, all the YouTuber special, like PCB way and whatnot, hashtag not sponsored. Um, and it depends if you shop around and you do the soldering yourself, uh, get all of the individual components and do all of it yourself. You can get it for as low as like 40 bucks. You can get everything. If you need to say, use a third party service that will do the PCB printing and the pre soldering of all the devices, uh, and, uh, surface mount components, there's a couple. Uh, then it'll run you all the way up to like eighty five, ninety dollars. So you can like, you can just buy it from uh, from Input Labs, right? No, no, no. Right. It no, is one hundred percent DIY. <laughs> ah. So like, what do you? What's like the case made of PLA? Or? Oh, yeah. so, oh, so that's you, you that can make it raises, out of anything. <laughs> that, that, okay. that raises an interesting question, though. Who built yours? They did Input Labs. <laughs> okay, this was a review unit that they printed and sent to me. See, okay. I, I'm thinking. Did, 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 did they use like a service, or did they like? No, no, they, they, they printed it themselves. Yeah. They did okay. everything. Hear me out. New case, okay. Gold plus so, platinum. <laughs> <laughs> Put a little bling in the alpaca. <laughs> Get we'll, we'll, some GPL. We'll call yeah. it. We'll, we'll call it the the al al quirka. I don't know. Al morna. <laughs> I might have to buy this. Um, I, this was a joke search, and it's like, sure, I make <laughs> replicas of gold wrestling. I'm like, well, I might have to buy some wrestling. Yeah. Why? Because I might be remodeling the kitchen. Oh, do, do it as a backsplash? Uh, that, no, that, actually, no, that'd be dope. Uh, that's under, count, uh, under the counter presence for ah, 50 years for, and 60 years in the future. Ah, so, so when people take off the marble counter or whatever, it's just like, like what, what the, the hell? hell? And then it's like, ah, oh, it's a Star Trek bra. Hashtag LGC cares. Right. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, that's going to take care of that. Thanks for watching. But on that alpaca flavored bombshell, we're going to cue the music. You can always find us pulling out of the Nightmare Train station. In the Nightmare Train, there's a connection there. At 8.30 Eastern Standard Time here on twitch.tv forward slash lighting scheme cast. If you're a patron, hop in the pre-pre super shows and holy fuck, do we go places there this week? <laughs> no exception. <laughs> Um, if you want to get a hold of me, I'm easy. Just scream at me in our Discord, scream at me in our IRC, scream at me in Twitch chat, on Twitter at Venstone, and uh, we have a federated Mastodon timeline thingy at mass.leticschemecast.com, where I'm just at Vin doing the things and the stuffs. I am Jordan Basugasu Bakuhatsu Tsvang. You can follow me on Twitter at the Burning Fool on our the aforementioned Mastodon at uh, Brojo at mass.leticschemecast.com. And I have a Twitch channel sometimes. I don't know. I don't, I don't use that much. Mojo Frojo. Yes. Mojo oh, Jojo. Uh, if uh, you'd like to subscribe to whatever Powerpuff Girls uh, branded podcast you listen to, this is the wrong place. But if you, what are you talking for about? some reason would like to follow me, we had that one episode, to be fair. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, if you uh, would like to follow me for some reason. Yeah, after like uh, 500 episodes, that's like safe as shit to say, isn't it? Like, yep. Yeah. It, we've probably had the one for everything. You find it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, at unaccounted four f o u r on Twitter or at unaccounted four with the actual number four on mass.linuxgamecast.com. Time for some credits. Yes. <gasps> Boop. I thought it was welcome to the retirement home because it's just <laughs> Elrond and Drag. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Well. It's that time of the week where I wait for the advisors to show up. There they are. Omega, Sir Theron. <laughs> we got our executive producers. They're Bob Ramp, Scott Michaud, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, George, Pebble, Tomaj, Hakim, and David. And our Chicago Kickass kick ass tier, Super Dusto. Kickass. Kickass. Kick ass ass. <laughs> and Sea Monsters, Renault, Ryder X, Machina, Reggie Veritanuda, Justin Frost, Claude Nub, and Dark Wing, System T, Dancing Joe, Ogi One, and Kyrillo. This is called the Jongo Baby with the Death Note. Snoopy K die. with Nay, Benjamin, Steve, Dirty Dean, Xanthorus, Cheesy Big, and Foxy Swine, Oil of Hope, Jalad, Alex, Aromatic Dev, Game of Trons, Mother People Flying By, but you're so Don't small. Do that no. wad. <laughs> you do the wad too. Do the wad. <laughs> do the wad. Da, 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 da. Look at all these cheerlings. Linux in. New, Bertain, right, Jolly, Daniel, Daniel the Vascott, <laughs> Ramzawada, Thomas, Martin, Rohit, Jonas. Monica, oh, Alex, Sacred Egg, Unoid, KR Replay Gaming, PT, and 
And then these fuckers. Fine upstanding cannibals, Carl and Mike. Speaking of Carl's, uh, now pack is Linux, GNU, Aldeus, Noctilus, Johnny, Shep, Gamertron, Uno, DNS, and Jonah. Uh, Roman Dominican developers. Do you think we get, um, llamas? Do you think we, what do we need? Alpacas and berets? Sure. That for everyone. <laughs> Al- alpacas and balaclavas. <laughs> alpacas and balaclavas, yeah. Five dudes.